Hello everyone and welcome back. This year I've made some big changes regarding my astrophotography and my YouTube channel. And first change, it is a new Astro Backyard that you can see here. I had to make a one month break from astrophotography to be able to make the terrace. And I want to tell you how I started astrophotography here in uh, the garden. First, about three years ago, I was using a spot there in the middle of the garden. So it took me a lot of time to go up with all the equipment from uh, the house and set up. And especially when clouds came, I had to go with all the equipment back inside. It was very time consuming. Also, I could not make any live videos from, uh, from the middle of the garden. So last year I moved all my equipment here close to the house on the small terrace. The problem was I could not see Polaris. I could not see a big part of the uh, sky, especially north, northwest, north, south. So with the new terrace, I finally have enough space here to do astronomy and astrophotography. So you can see here I have two mounts, my EQM35 Pro and Skywatch LED80. Also with a new camera, Altair 26 megapixels. Cooled, my first dedicated astrophotography camera that is much better compared with my uh, older DSLR. Also other astrophotography equipment like the ZWF autofocuser, a new monochrome planetary camera, narrow band filters, new vlogs, new tutorials, new processing videos. This year I also want to start some uh, space art uh, painting videos and tutorials. I hope you'll uh, love that content. Also, I will paint nebulas, galaxies, probably I'll try also some uh, lunar drawing or uh, painting. And we'll uh, probably activate also channel membership. So a lot of updates for this channel this year. The most important one is this new astrophotography terrace that will allow me to align to Polaris. I can also capture many targets that I could not do at the beginning of the summer, only in the morning, like the Elephant's Trunk Nebula. And now I can do this. I can also make live videos because I've also connected my computer with the mount. So this brings us with another important change. I got automated and now I have this mini PC here that costed me around 200-250 uh, euros and now I'm controlling the mount with the mini PC and I control the mini PC from inside the house from my main computer. So in future videos I'll show you in more detail all these changes and what equipment to buy, how to use capturing software if you want to get automated. More videos about this will come soon. I wanted to share with you my big changes regarding my channel and master photography from this year. Especially the new Astro Backyard that you can see here. I will have a, enough space now to use multiple mounts. I can use also the Star Adventurer and the Polar Alignment that I couldn't do before because here I was dropping. So just look, look how much space. So I can actually go place about five mounts here. I can place a mount there, a mount here, three, four, four, like five mounts I can place here. I can see the sky uh, in the north, northeast. And it's really important if you, if you can do astrophotography close because you save time and you can image much more. You can gather data and Having very short plans, one hour to two hours, most of the time is not enough to get very good signal to noise ratio and obtain very good astrophotography results. And finally, I will be able to enjoy more the night sky when I'm outside and astronomy having this large space. I do want to share with you some short videos how the terrace was built.
I want to share with you also some of the astrophotography results that I got with my equipment since I moved it here near the house. Well, my friends, these are the big changes that I made for my astrophotography channel this year. I hope you'll enjoy my future uh, videos and tutorials on the new Terras. And I will hope I'll see you soon in the next videos. Until then, I wish you clear sky. And we have clear sky. Let's hope tonight will be the same.